Formula One coverage on YouTube is presented exclusively by Oricon. And welcome to the San Marino Grand Prix! <laughs> I'm Alar, I am Victor Simons, one of the hosts for Formula One, and here's my co-host, Markiplier. Iyer. My name is Markiplier, and, and I'm doing a lot of this! Uh, Mark's pretending to bite his nails, and let's be honest, we all are. Since the crash is here four years ago, San Marino has always felt a little bit uneasy to be at. Hmm. For those of you new to Formula 1, this is the very track where Roland Ratzenberger and Ayrton Senna died four years ago, bringing about the current era of modern safety regulations in Formula 1. Sure, that's simple logically impressible. Yes, absolutely positively. It's simple logic. Yes, and these are simply the qualifying highlights. So, I'm a little disoriented because... So, the controller I used to use for this was a Steel Series Nimbus, and what happened is the the R the R1 button failed and then the A button started failing. So now I have a DualShock 5 connected. Actually, it's called they call it a dual sense for some fucking reason. It makes no sense, but that's the same function as a DualShock 4, it just looks fancier, but whatever. The point is, I'm all unfamiliar with how the game works now. Nothing I can power through, but that felt ridiculous. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The fact that I recovered that is a miracle in itself. They ain't even trying to hide that it's Marble Marlboro anymore. That just straight up looks like a pack of cigarettes on the sides. Whoa. I am switching to slightly less hard suspension during the race because this is on. It's not undrivable, but it's a little bit dangerous. You see, I too like to live dangerously, but not that dangerously. That is awesome, but at the same time, considering my experience with better qualifyings. I'm going to be completely fucked. Also, what's wrong with the crowd? Why do they sound like that? Okay. I don't understand this fucking sport anymore. <laughs> no, no, you stop laughing. You stop laughing right now. So what's happening is Minority somehow is both qualified in the very back and the very front. You have S. Nakano at the back of the grid in 22nd. And on pole, you have Esteban Turo in first! In front of all the Ferraris and the McClones and the Williams and the Hondas, it's a fucking minority! I am losing my mind! This cannot be happening! Anyway, the current Drivers' Championship is Coulter, followed by Turo and Hakkinen in the top three. Then again, that's probably why people do heroin. And as for the Constructors' Championship, you have McLaren leading the pack, followed directly by Minardi, which is insane, Williams, Ferrari, and Benetton. So that's what the pack looks like. And we're getting ready to roll out here at Imlob. You have the grid right in front of you. And the energy here is high as we get ready to race. Yay! That is the correct reaction right here, Mark. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Woo. Turn off. And we're away, but Duro's car is stalling, but he gets it running starting? miraculously. But he's been passed by the McLarens before the first corner. But he instantly catches back up to them and is in the battle for a second. Voice is out. It's my damnation. I cannot put power to this voice because I am the most mentally Open. ill fucker on the planet. And with a hint of front wheel spin from Turo, Coulter gets away on the straight. Of course both of them got away. That just always happens. It's Formula One. Laren dominance is annoying the shit out of me. Coulter, only a second ahead. But you kill it, two seconds back. And Coulter is locking up, giving Turo the opportunity. They touch, but Turo makes it pass successfully. Neither cars are damaged. Incredible move. My God. Coulter attempts what? to dive on Turo, but fails miserably because he does not have the speed through the corner. And Turo's oh, going into position, oh getting face in the guns with as he hits the wall, suspension is damaged, he's what in the grass, but he is still is moving, that? but he drops down to fifth, if the Jordan Hugan Hunt succeeds, it may be sixth, but Turo, no he can't pull away, there goes the Jordan Hugan Hunt in front of him, but he takes back what position. Fisichella's gone pathetically wide right there, and that is the widest I've seen anyone ever take a turn. He was riding the curb the entire time. That isn't even a curb where it makes sense to do that. And here comes uh, Fisichella not giving Turo any room, and now his front wing is broken as well. That is not good. Fisichella, only a second ahead. Oh. You're holy mother of god, what <laughs> the fuck just happened? What the fuck did I just do? Alright Mark, we gotta look at this one because the car is actually just fucking fused together. That's what? What just happened? Well, neither Minardi nor Benetton know. Uh Apparently this just happens with the new cars now. We thought it was a Ferrari exclusive issue before, but apparently it just happens with anyone. I don't trust that. And that's just not okay. Uh, like, what are you- I don't know, it almost looks like a computer simulation getting all fucked up, and, uh, 
Yeah, isn't there a whole new movie in the works that has, like, that exact same premise? You- Yeah, this is an actual breakage of the laws of physics. I don't- I don't- Wait, hold the phone? Can you even show us on TV? Shouldn't we be calling some- some someone? Anything. What the fuck are we supposed to do about this? How, what are we supposed to talk about? The laws of physics are broken! The divine not mean to that to me- What? I did- I did not mean to do what? I was just inside Physicilla! That sounds like an innuendo, but it's technically correct, yes. That was not comfortable. Oh, looks like the graphics team slacking off. The graphics for Irvine and Physicella didn't appear properly. You know that scene in Foundation where... Cool, fucking robot ahead. ladies and segments? That's what that felt like. Oh, th that actually describes it perfectly. Well, I'm never giving Irvine crap again! Who's crashing? What is the... What's the malfunction? Seriously. What is it? Okay, get out of the car. Let's go. Cooper, just ahead. You're standing. And Drew loses it on the grass and even covers a behind. spin! What? So what happened to this dude? He hit the blood, which caused him to lose grip of the wheel and it... Basically, what he did was he recovered in nearly a muzzle of and spin, kind of like the man was having in 2008. You think that's funny? No, 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 why would it be funny? That was no he good. He did something amazing! Like, why would it be any more comedy? One well, over a dozen of the hillbilly, right? and love! It's not meant to be a girl! What is wrong with you? I don't know, I'm not! You're in position now! It's lap five. Usually something goes wrong about lap five. Cooper, two seconds ahead. He's pulling away. Fifty shellers, three seconds back. Yes, I noticed. Well, it looks like I'm completely fucked as well, but that's a separate issue. I hate slowly dropping positions. It makes me want to Damon Hill myself. Oh shit, where am I supposed to pit this lap? What the hell am I doing? What? What shenanigans were these two engaging in? Are they trying to have a moment alone? Man, I'm sorry, but this just ain't the place. Cool, sir. Three seconds ahead. Fifty tail is only a second behind. He's gaining on you. Show that bastard the neutron style. Cool, sir. Four seconds ahead. He's pulling away. Busy tail is two seconds back.
have the stewards been tested for schizophrenia? It's like, I did ass have no idea what they think they're looking at. School bus, 16 seconds ahead. He's pulling away. It always is. The stewards are seeing fucking ghosts. And I'm not surprised this track is haunted. I hate you, music. My mic's too fucking quiet. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, so what Joe was talking about is the stewards have pulled a ton of yellow flags because there have been a ton of on track incidents and a few cars are out. The problem is they've been calling too many yellow flags. But literally nothing has been going on, so he's kind of making fun of that, and I agree with what him. What the it's hell? I think I just had the worst malfunction of this car ever. I think my car just tried to become bipedal. Alright, what's up? It's your boy. Uh, you're not gonna explain that. Oh, you, oh, you mean I should explain my stroke and ah. instead of just one ring straight back into the commentary? But, uh, well... Uh, what happened was I dissed Boeing on fucking Twitter because I was on on the on the flight here to Imra. Uh, Mark was there. Uh, the door blew out mid flight. We were thousands of feet in the air, like maybe ten thousand feet in the air for whatever reason. And uh, we had depressurization, all that shit. So after the flight, I was like, man, Boeing sucks. And, and yeah. Uh, and today on the Don't track, uh, this bald guy shook my hand. It was very nice, but I after that, I had a stroke. It's simple oh logic. See that yet, but there it is. There he is. There's yeah. Fisichella. Oh, uh, whatever. Rain on the way. There's rain on the way. I have advantages in rain. You bonked my engine into non functionality. What's wrong with you? Come on, low fell through. No, you don't get to pass me after doing that. Slow down. Don't pass. Well, now I have a okay. time bomb Let's go. on my hands. And whoa! 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 Joe just bounced off the wall! Everything's and now his entire car is pretty much in the same state as the end of so the Argentinian Grand Prix. And he's not dead. I'm gonna hold out from William, going in the pits for a little longer. Red lights are on, red lights are on. So I'm gonna stay stay out for one more lap. It has officially begun to rain here at Imola. Oh, scares me. To scares move me past the pits before he had a chance, before he had the warning, he is still out there on soft tires. But as we saw at Albert Park, he can absolutely rock that for a little while. Francis, three seconds ahead. He's 
pulling away. Wurtz is right behind you. I'm still on soft tires, but I'm doing fine. The track must be not that saturated yet. There's a yellow flag ahead. And he's dropped out of the race. Hakkinen's going into the pit. Prince is heading for the pit. Yeah, I'm not waiting for Prince. Prince is going into the pit. You're in second position now. Kofa's taking the lead. Yep, and I see him. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of hydroplaning now. I think it's time to pit. Kofa's two seconds ahead. I just said that in the same tone as my fucking racing engineer. I. Some people turn to their parents, I'm turning into my racing engineer. Two eight seconds behind you. Track is getting wet. We need to switch to rain tires. I agree. I already made the comment on hydroplaning. And meanwhile, on the other side of the grid, it looks like Irvine's coming out of the pits. Slow down. Don't pass. Kofa, only a second ahead. They've given you a warning flag. Oh. Juma, because nine seconds behind you. We were out of the yellow flag though, so I don't know what that was about. Oh, it's probably because I bonked him and gave him damage. S sorry, man. Oh shit, lightning. The FIA has issued a lightning warning for Imola. All spectators are advised to head indoors and stay away from trees. It is still safe to run cars. I repeat, all spectators are advised to seek shelter. It's still safe to run the cars. Lead. Yes, but now I've become a menace. I am become Death Destroyer of Worlds. Alright, in my experience, at least by superstition, my rain tires should decrease the load on my engine and make it easier to drive. Am I gaining on him? Okay, so it's a battle, so they're both closer than expected. Damn, my guy has to... I gotta get used to having working aerodynamics again. You're in third position now.
Schumacher just ahead. Looks like Turo's going for a dive bomb, but Schumacher intentionally Schumacher. goes slow and blocks him. What the hell? Turo has hit into the wall the with his back. wheel, and Schumacher keeps position, but that was a dirty it's way to do that. Shoes. Minardi proudly wears Brooks, and we will not stop doing that. Wonderful, lovely, fantastic stuff. Oh, that was not fantastic, though. Just ahead. Oh my! How strong? I went sideways, but the car is fine. So. I have never seen a feat of durability that intense from the Formula One car. That was <laughs> some tanking. Try to relax on the throttle just a little bit to keep the engine from dying too soon. Now the problem is I'm the battle of Hakkinen. Also, I'd like to point out that not a single minority is out of the race, and I'm proud of that. Be more careful, otherwise it'll be the next one out. It occurs to me that trying to preserve the engine might be wrecking the rest of the car. I gotta say, Mark, this is proving to be a damn interesting race. Now let's look at it again from a different perspective. We're looking at Michael Schumacher going through here. He managed to take advantage of Turo going off. Statistics are out the window. Shit! Then he broke the window! Close the shutters! Close the shutters! You ain't getting my wallet today! Sorry about that. Uh, so one of those metal star decorations that you have in, like, Texas. I don't know why someone has that in Italy, but okay. Hackens is going for a dive bomb, but Turo couldn't see him, so we've had a collision! And Schumacher is hit Turo in the back. I, I, I think Schumacher is just being dumb at this point. Expect it from Hackenen. taking the lead. But you! Schumacher. My engine's mad at me as well. It's gonna be really hard to push back for first because 
I don't even know if it's a problem with my car. I just think it's so wet, it's hard to get enough traction to go over 140. Also, that Joe was coming back on the track, he just rammed and thought about it later. This is wrong. Oh no. Sagaki dropped out of the way. There's a yellow flag ahead. Schumacher's three seconds ahead. Hakkinen right behind you.
Schumacher is four seconds ahead. Hakkinen is only a second behind. Slow down. Don't pass. Okay, you're out of the car. Let's go. Oh, my engine's happy again. Okay, apparently not that happy. Three seconds ahead. My engine's only got to last six more laps. If it can do that, then it's going to be all right. Hakkinen's going into the pit. Hakkinen's out. What happened? I outlasted Hakkinen? He's locked up! Oh my god! I'm sorry everyone, I know this seems like a terrible moment for interjection, but I need you to look at this. There is something so wrong about what I'm seeing here on the cameras. Look at Schumacher's Ferrari! I have. It's just straight up right in the air, like... Fucking Mark Webber in the RB6! I don't know what's going on in this, but... I FUCKING LIE! This entire Grand Prix has been a mess. Now we don't just have a cockpit cam and a car cam view of this debauchery, we also have the full cams showing everything that both Schumacher and Turo did. And as you can see, Schumacher is just being plain dumb. I mean, so is Turo, but you need to really look at it slowly. So obviously they had a small collision before this happened. You can see here, Turo made a pass, a really risky pass, while Schumacher was having a lockup. They touched wheels, but both cars ended up making it out fine. But then Schumacher decided to retaliate in a way that wasn't so nice and wasn't so equal. As you can see, now Turo's having a lockup and kind of pinning there. And Schumacher kind of hits him. Unfortunately, I don't think this is anyone's fault. Ultimately, I think it was just a racing incident, but it still seems pretty dumb. Careful with the side pods. My engine's already angry as it is. Schumacher taking the lead. It, it has been for a while, I will say. Also, I don't know what he did with this front wing, but it's fucking invincible. I swear to god. The car is supposed to be damaged, but it's acting really, really good, all things considered. Actually, it is damaged, it's kind of slow, but, you know, I can handle this, you know? Let's get this kind of, I can do this attitude up in here. Only four laps to go. Come on, engine, you can do it. The engine is willing, but the front Come suspension on, air is safe.
Schumacher's just ahead. You're kidding! Oh shit. Schumacher's the new leader. Absolutely lost pace to him. Oh, don't die. Don't die on me. Don't die on me. I say that to several of the car's parts. No, 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 no. Stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop. Two seconds ahead. He's pulling away. Oh, it's because my car is going wide. Shit. Coulter, no. I will not lose the podium. After the last race in Argentina, this podium's all I have left as a driver to prove my dignity. It's podium or bust. Schumacher's three seconds ahead. Schofer, two seconds back. Unbreak my suspension for two seconds. Only two laps to go. Oh. Schumacher's just ahead. You're kidding. Schofer's only a second behind. My finger just stuck so hard into a button it hurts. Schumacher's only a second ahead. Jorah's locked up! He's on the grass! He's spun out! He's in the wall! He's in the wall and he's not moving! He's trying to move the car! He's got the car start again! He is oh re-entering the track! He is far behind! I'm alive! I'm alive! I may not get podium, but I still may get points! Hang in there. It's time to attack. Turo's wheels no bend out of position, but he's still cornering semi normally. I gotta hand it to you. You made the car much more drivable with all this damage. I don't know how you did that, but it's like respectable. With a yellow flag ahead. That's the only thing that can save me now. Slow down. Don't pass. Just 
just ahead. You're standing. Okay, get out of the car. Let's Yeesh. go. First is five seconds behind you. There's a yellow flag ahead. Slow down. Don't pass. Hang on, he passed. No! Get out of the car. Let's go. Nicaro can't catch a break. What's he done wrong? It's not the podium, but it is the points. My wheel was bent fucking sideways. And you know I I had a massive battle for first. That was like half the race. You still doubt me, guys? Well, Mark, not to break the fourth wall, but after the disastrous 2024 Open World Grand Prix, that was disastrous purely on merit of being boring, that is exactly the kind of racing we needed. Yup! So in the end, Schumacher has easily taken home the victory, with Turo and Hakkinen and Goldjet having chased him almost the entire race, but then Hakkinen had to retire for a failure that McLaren has not yet disclosed, and then Turo kind of crashed, but still managed to recover and stay in the points. I'm gonna be honest, I think the debates finally settled. I think Turo having battled for first the entire race, it pretty much settles that Turo is a great goddamn driver. As of this word, I don't know if that's not a word. <laughs> it may not be a word, but I'm Victor Simons. My name is Markiplier, and I'm gonna sue you out of existence. Bye bye! bye, -bye. Formula One coverage on YouTube is presented exclusively by Oricon. Have you ever been in the middle of a fun game with your family when you suddenly feel like this? Or this? Or even this? <coughs> That is dehydration, and dehydration can make you dizzy, lightheaded, tired, dry, it can even give you headaches, and cause random computer mice to appear in your vision. Uh, uh, no! Get off the screen, you- In such a situation, you might be tempted to do what this man is doing. Stop. Beverages with high fructose syrups, like sodas, can dehydrate you even more. So what's a fellow like yourself supposed to do? Introducing water. Water is a beverage made out of pure hydrogen and oxygen, designed to give you optimal hydration in these hot, dry times. Water is naturally sourced and easy to produce. It's also easy to ship and package. Not only that, water comes in an incredibly recyclable bottle that is easy to crush and easy to dispose of. And don't worry, the package is just as easy to open. Just watch this man here. And ingesting water is just as easy as that. Just look at this man here demonstrating. When you feel dehydrated again, drink water to go from feeling like this to feeling like this. Side effects of water may include excessive urination, increased sweating, loss of appetite, excessive mucus production, dehydration, bacterial infections such as Ebola, hypothermia, sudden liquefaction of the brain, the ability to see kidney stone, and drowning. Do not use water if you are breastfeeding, pregnant, or plan to be so. And if you still aren't convinced about this product, just listen to this glowing review of water. I am a man who owns five ovens. Wait, was that the right clip? That can't have been the right clip. What the? What are you waiting for? Get water today. Water is a trademark of the Nestle Corporation. bombed by the Water Liberation Front. These locations include the Mars Alpha Factory, the New England Block Factory, Colorado Labs, Satellite One, Miami Outer Belt Office North, and a seemingly random dock in Sicily, Italy. 